Hi, it's Noah Massey here. Happy Wappy 43, formerly known as T the Stir Noah. And I'm gonna, it's the ninth year anniversary of my YouTube channel uh, in August. Around, it's August 13th as I'm filming this. So I thought I would do a commentary retrospective on my old videos. Because I thought some of the, my choices, if you look back on my channel, probably need context. Now, uh, the name Destroyer Noah, which I had for years, came because my older brother, Job, he had a channel called Destroyer Job. There's no videos on it anymore. He deleted them all. And he was going through his filmmaker phase. Uh, he's three years older than me. So, sixth grade, leaving fifth grade kind of stuff. And so, I wanted to be the Destroyer family, so I called myself Destroyer Noah because he's Destroyer Job. And my inspirations for filmmaking, for doing video at the time, were Dane Bow, uh, aka the Annoying Orange. Uh, the Muppets ended up being a huge inspiration. And South Park. I ended up watching that at a young age for some reason, because I was allowed to. My first video, August 18th, 2011. This was, uh, what, now, right now it has 155 views. It was made the summer after second grade, going into third grade. Uh, and I made a Lego video. It was filmed in my garage. My dad went through a phase where he liked ping pong. So uh, me and my brother, we made our own Lego city on the ping pong table. Our, well, the first video we're looking at right now is Lego Wrestling. It was uploaded almost nine years ago in 2011. What's up, YouTube? This is me, Game Bo, otherwise known as the creator of Somewhat Talking Fruit. Okay, so the Danebo Lego. So Danebo, Danebo Dickheimer is the creator of the Annoying Orange, which was one of my biggest childhood, uh, you know, adorations. And my brother, Danebo's the one in the black, because Danebo used to wear a black hat. And my brother made that Lego. And next to him, is, we end, I ended up naming that, me and my brother ended up naming that red hat character Sam. And then next to him, my brother made a Shaquille O'Neal Lego. Me, me, me. Oh, I can't do it now. Oh, boy. What do I do now? What I do do now? So, uh, this was entirely came up with on the spot. I think I had the idea, Legos are gonna wrestle. And then I went with it. That's kind of how I filmed every video back then. I didn't write a script. Sometimes I still don't really write scripts. Lego wrestle. Hmm. Also, uh, when I said me and my brother made a Lego town, I'm not saying we did it well, because, uh, <laughs> I mean, what we built looked nice, but if you look at these old videos, there's just characters just laying around. I like to think they're just dead and laying on the street, and then there's just built, and you could see, like, my, because my dad was into, like, weightlifting at one point, uh, and so you could just see posters on the wall of just people flexing their muscles. Let's find out who they are. Those two weirdos! Oh! Oh my goodness, in the background you could see two characters talking, you could see like a Toy Story alien and another dude. Weirdo! That was also inspired by Danebo. He used to hide Easter eggs in the Annoying Orange videos. He was one of the first times I ever saw something like that, and so I tried to, all the YouTubers tried to do that back then, they tried to hide stuff in the backgrounds. Smosh even talked about it in one of their old, watching old videos. Videos, which are now old because Anthony left like four years ago. Yeah, they used to have pink flamingos in the background and then they stopped because no one cared. But the annoying orange audience, they certainly noticed. They used to hide the, the mustachios all over and the fans used to adore that shit. Yeah. What was that? So that noise right there was um, the app opening up. I don't, I wasn't being paid by. I used an annoying orange soundboard app that I think I had my parents pay for on my iPod. And for some reason, at the end, it turns into a big advertisement for it. I wasn't getting paid by Nick Zlatz, Inc., but, you know. Well, here's that. Something else. Okay! Oh. Most people, when they do Lego videos, they attempt stop motion. Um, I just kind of filmed them and talked. But occasionally, I would try stop motion. Yep, we're up again. <laughs> that punch just. What do you think about that, audience? Audience? The joke here was supposed to be that the entire audience left because it sucked. 
What I love is that Danebo is supposed to be the remaining person there. And he does the annoying orange voice, and that wins the entire town back. But what I love is that he, he just left his computer and moved to another chair. I remember how annoying it was to remove everybody in these chairs. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Dambo just moves to the left corner and leaves his computer there. He's like, I've been enjoying this the whole time. You hate that. Me. Oh, shut up. Ooh, I hate that. That used to be an old part of my old sense of humor, where I would like be like, <laughs> "Why did I say <laughs> I'm so quirky?" Cringe. That that was probably cringe. I'm gonna watch this back and find that cringe. But I'm doing. What? I don't like my eraser head hair. Hold on. There's nothing I'm gonna do to. Oh my god, Justin Bieber. There it is. I had the whole first episode memorized, so I just, I just did it. This is amazing. I hear running noises. Two more people. Two more people. Next, that's me. And that's my Lego next to Jamebo. Oh, I wouldn't need the little kid legs anymore, would I? I'm 17. More people are coming back. Okay, so that right there was Lego Max. I remember my brother, I don't know if it was with his money or he got my parents to order it, uh, but he bought the Max Lego. He was the he was the mascot of the Lego Club show and Lego Magazine, which might be in publication still. My brother used to get him monthly. But he bought, he got the Max, Max Lego in the mail, and I think that's amazing that he paid, I think like $10 for one minifigure. This is a bad video. <laughs> oh, that is so cool! It is so cool! Okay, so I'm gonna tell you a fun fact about these videos. I would make them, upload them, and then not watch them for five years. That's the fact, that's the truth. I had a little uh, black brick camera. And it's kind of scary to think that everyone used that back then. But I did. And I still have it. I'm gonna go look for it. What's scary is that how fast I found it as soon as I entered my room. I happened to be wanting to record with it again. This it, here it was. Took four triple A's. It ended up draining them very fast. Yeah, and this screen, if you turn it on, it's just bright. It doesn't, you can't see a thing. So I legit thought my camera was broken for a while, and I think I asked my parents to buy a new one. The new camera sucked even worse, and then I realized this one still worked when I, it, you could record, and you could do this. I think the card in here, on the top here, is missing. Okay, okay. It's weird to see this footage and hold the camera that I was filming it with still. That's so weird. I'm filming this on a new Samsung I just got because my old one broke. But it's like, it's weird looking into my, my face with a Samsung phone, watching this video and holding this camera at the same time. Oh. Yeah. Go kumquat. Oh. I don't know why I said kumquat. But I shouldn't have said it. Oh. Oh, what? Oh, the kumquat. Um, the tough fruit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that pink-haired mohawk, mohawk Lego, Lego, holy shit. That pink-haired mohawk Lego was my brother, but I lost his hair, so I gave him a mohawk. But that's his little character, Lego Job. Morning. Now that you YouTubers in this video, we're, um, we're actually going to show that, um, that the YouTubers didn't do the voices. Also, don't forget, thanks, thanks to uh, um, the annoying one stat boy game by um, Zitlat, or Nick Zlat. I really want to see what the Nick Slats Inc. company is up to now, because this is probably the most um, times people have seen their work. <laughs> this is my 155 view video from 2011. It's weird to see how many good things came out in 2011, and then looking at this, you know? I gotta say, this video is ass, bro. This app is ass, too. I gotta say, it's just the first episode. You just press buttons. So I was trying to press them in order. Wait a minute. I still have that iPod. I'm gonna go look for it. Okay, I couldn't find my um, iPod. 
Because uh, I still have the app, which is sad. Well, I don't use it anymore. I found my dad's old phone, though. I, did, I forgot that happened. I, uh, that was a good gag I used to use where I just kind of... Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, my first video. My first video. I remember my brothers telling me not to make my first video a Lego video. And then it did. And, uh, I mean, my start would have been equally as terrible anyway. So, I'm gonna look through my old videos here. Like, I'm not gonna go through everything, just uh, some of the ones that might need context, or some of the really old ones. Hi, 